Ciudad Juarez. Some say its streets are covered in blood, and bones belonging to the disappeared lie just beneath the din and dust. A 16-year-old girl named Ruby Escobedo was missing. The absence struck her mother, Maricela, harder than anyone. She knew that years earlier, hundreds of women had vanished from Juarez. Some abducted by drug gangs, some raped, then discarded. Many whose disappearance has never been explained. But Maricela wasn't about to accept the fact that her youngest daughter, Ruby, was gone. My mom, she was a fighter. She was always there for us, all the time. And she was that way her whole life? Yeah, she always worked for her family. She believed in family. Tight family bonds are commonplace among people who grew up in Juarez, like Sara Paez. What was Juarez like when you were growing up here? It was very peaceful, very peaceful, peaceful very prosperous, uh, a place that a kid could be very happy. But no more. She now lives across the border in El Paso, Texas, but travels back into the danger zone each day for work, starting with a wait at the border. Do you sense an immediate difference when you cross the border from El Paso into Juarez? I mean, you go from one of the safest cities in the United States right. to one of the most dangerous cities in the world. It makes me alert of what I, I have to face, you know. But uh, there's some things that you cannot afford, and fear is one of them. And what does she do in Juarez? She helps relatives of those who've disappeared, the smallest relatives. Her mother founded their family-run orphanage 20 years ago to help abandoned children. Today, about half the kids who live here are the survivors of a drug war that has created about 10,000 orphans in Juarez alone. It's a war that's all around them, where people like Ruby can disappear and others can be gunned down for no reason. They told us this eight-year-old's father was shot to death because the garage where he worked could no longer pay protection money to a drug gang. This 17-year-old orphan is keeping an eye on him. I tried to turn the boys to the roles of God. You try to be a good role model to the young yeah, men here. Yeah. But even the best role models can only do so much. That's because the drug business is always hiring. And the recruitment pitch can be music to a teenager's ears. You want to make money? It's like, uh, yeah, you see that they have cars, they got girls, you know, they have nice stuff. You hang out with them. And you you wanted to be a player. Yeah. This man who's wearing a disguise is a former drug trafficker. He says he was lured into the business when he was only 17 and that the cartels were so powerful there was little need to fear the law on either side of the border. Once he was arrested in the U.S. for carrying over 100 pounds of pot. To traffickers, that's not huge, but he was on probation at the time. So in my head, I was thinking, I'm going to do time. And... Uh, I got in touch with the right person, and he got in touch with, you know, the cartel lawyer. He said, you know what, give us your information, give us about a week, we can make this work. And how much did that cost you to, quote-unquote, make this work? About 25000 And what was the outcome of that case? Dismissed. Dismissed? Dismissed. Is gone. And off probation. How do you make that happen? How do you make it happen? How do you make it happen? Money. Money and power of the big cartels had a way of perverting justice on the border, as Ruby's family would soon find out. As for now, Maricela was frustrated by the police inaction, so she launched her own campaign to find Ruby. Passing out flyers, talking to people, uh, going to different places, Monday through Sunday, every day, every day. Did this consume her? Yeah, it did. What about you? I was always with her, always with her. Where was Ruby? So many terrible things can happen to a young woman in Juarez. Was she abducted by a drug cartel, kidnapped for ransom? Ruby was not a drug dealer, not part of a gang. But that wouldn't prevent her from falling prey to the dangers. And the news Maricela and Juan were about to hear was the worst you could expect.